Oh, I've got both the locking nuts off. There's that one and there's this one. Just use a hammer and a chisel and just... And off she comes. Now I've got to go down and uh, press these bearings off. Well, here's the press. And I was just setting up the axle to press it out. Um, and I just placed that on top. There's a spacer between the end of the axle. And it just fell straight through the bearing. So this is the one where the nut was loose and the bearing's been moving backwards and forwards. So it's damaged the axle. Because the last two I did, like for the other side, they were nice and tight. You had to press them all the way off. So, fascinating. Well, this old axle seems a little more promising. It's already had like four pumps and still hasn't fallen through. Right, keep pumping. Keep pumping. Yay. Two axles. One of them seems to be fucked because the bearing has been spinning on it. You can actually see radial marks in the bearing and on the axle. Two anchor plates, which are both different. I'm going to use that one. That one's got a fucked seal, and that one's got a good seal. Um, and the only seals I can get are genuine ones, but there's none in Australia. So I'm taking a gamble using these newer seals in the older anchor plates because someone rebuilt that rear end and completely fucked it. So. Hmm. Alright, I prepared this axle, so I cleaned it all up, cleaned up the surfaces where the seals will be running, because there's two seals, one there, one there. Um, and to help them, because they're second hand, got some sandpaper, and on a certain angle, like that, and put lines all the way around, just very lightly, and that will act as a scroll to help push the oils and greases back because this rotates that way, and then that way, they'll be pushing in. I did the same with the driver's side. So, that's on a different angle, obviously, because that rotates in a different direction. So, but that should hopefully help the old seals. So now, I've got to put the anchor plate on, grease the bearing, and then press that on. Well, there we go, the bearing's greased and ready to go on. But yeah, I've noticed doing this job that apart from the one bearing on the driver's side that's on the car at the moment, that had never been touched. And that was all, you know, original grease in there. All the ones that have been replaced, there's no grease on them. It's like they forgot to grease them. Because these, the bearings don't get oil from the diff. They're actually running their own grease. So if you forget to grease them, no wonder they keep fucking up. Alright, so we're back here and we're pressing the bearing on to the axle. You get the idea. I pump this, that goes down, done. Well, there we go, it's all together, locking nuts on, everything's done and all covered in grease. So now I have to go pop that in the car. So, nice greasy bearing. <laughs> Fingers slipping on that. But yes. Mmm, lots of grease. 